The Android platform is known for the power it offers to users. Yeah, you can customize the interface, install custom ROMs and do a lot more. But not many people know that you can even automate your Android smartphone. Well, smartphones are called smart for a reason. For instance, you can make sure that your phone goes to silent when you reach office and automatically goes back to normal when you leave. Well, the possibilities are endless. What's up guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and today let's take a look at the various ways through which you can totally automate your Android smartphone. This might sound a little complicated, but trust me, it is fairly simple. So let's get started. We will be using the MacroDroid app for all our automations. The MacroDroid app lets you create macros which are basically automation profiles. The app packs in a lot of templates as well, so you can find some great automation macros in the app too. The app is available in a free version, but it features ads and only lets you create 5 macros. For more macros and no ads, you will have to get the full version which is available for approximately $2. Well, now that we have cleared things out, let's get to automating your Android device, shall we? You can set up various modes for the time when you enter or leave office, home, your car, etc. Along with these modes, I am also sharing my other favorite automation profiles. So let's begin with the work mode. If you want to make sure that your phone goes to silent and the Wi-Fi is turned on when you enter your office, well you can do so by creating a new macro in the MacroDroid app. In the trigger page, you can select the location trigger Area Entered option Then you can choose your current location or zoom and pan around to set a particular area as your office. Once done, you can hit the floating icon and tap on the area. Then set the radius of the location and hit the tick button. Then the actions page should open up. Here go to the volume change option and set the volume to zero for different media and the ringer. Also tap on the Wi-Fi configure option and select the enable Wi-Fi option. You can even use the connect to a network option. Next skip the constraints page. Once done hit the tick button, enter a name for your macro like work mode and press ok. That's it the work mode has been created and the next time you enter office your device will automatically go on mute and connect to a Wi-Fi network. If you want to set up actions like turn Wi-Fi off and unmute your device when you leave office, you can create a new trigger with location trigger area exited option and use the Wi-Fi disabled actions along with the increased volume. Next up is the home mode. You might want to automatically turn on Wi-Fi and enable ringer when you're home, right? Well, the setup of the home mode is pretty much the same as in the work mode. You can create a macro with the location trigger area entered and use your home location this time. Then in the actions page you can again set up the Wi-Fi to enable. But increase the sound volume because you might want to take calls, right? Likewise you can set up a macro for when you're leaving the house. So that the Wi-Fi automatically gets turned off. It is pretty simple and you can fiddle around with the macro dot app to add more actions if you want. Moving on to the car mode. You can set up a car mode which will automatically turn on Bluetooth, disable Wi-Fi, set the volume to maximum and play your favorite music. Sounds cool, right? Well, you will need an NFC tag for this. If you have one, you can create a new macro with the trigger NFC tag. Here you can choose the option write new tag and enter the name of your NFC tag. Then scan the compatible NFC tag. Once done, the actions page will open up. Here just disable Wi-Fi, turn on Bluetooth so that your device is connected to your car speaker. Use the volume change option to increase the volume and use the launch app option to launch a music app. Also you will be able to enable mobile data if you have a rooted device. Once done. 
complete the macro creation setup and it's done now you can just head to your car pair your device to the nfc tag and the car mode should become active while the standby time on most android smartphones is pretty decent you would not want wi-fi bluetooth or any other services running in the background suck up the battery on your device also you'd like to put your phone on silent and set up an alarm right well, you can set up a sleep mode macro to do all of that functionality in the macro droid app. You can use the daytime trigger and select the days you want the trigger to go off and the time you want the sleep mode to start. Then set the various actions like alarm clock. You can select the alarm type and the time and various other options. Then set the brightness to zero Disable Bluetooth and if you have a rooted device you can disable all app notifications. Also make sure to disable Wi-Fi and set the volume to zero. Once done add a constraint option dubbed time of the day which will make sure the sleep mode is disabled at a specified time in the morning. That's it, now just enter the name for the macro, choose the category if you want and it's done. Now you can sleep peacefully while also saving your device's battery. Sometimes we have our phone in our pockets and we don't even know that it's low on charge. Also people in our family tend to get worried when the phone is switched off. We have all been there, don't you agree? Well in this case you can set up the low battery mode to automatically disable Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and mobile data too if you have a router device. You can also set it up to send a preset text to your family when the battery is low. Just create a macro with the battery level trigger and choose the increases decreases option. Then select the decreases to option and set the battery percentage you consider low, say 20%. Then just tap on the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth options and select disable. Also if you have a router device, disable mobile data too. Once done, complete the setup. Then create another macro with the battery level trigger set to 5%. This time choose the action as send SMS. Here enter the phone number and the text you want to send. Well that's it. Now whenever your phone's battery is 20% or below, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and mobile data will be disabled. And when it is at 5%, a message will be sent to your loved ones. Connecting your headphones, setting the volume level and then launching your music app can be quite a task. But what if your music app automatically launches with your specified volume when headphones are connected? Well as you might have guessed, you can set that up. In the trigger page, you can just create a macro for that. You can select the headphones inserted option. In the action, you can choose the launch app option and select your favorite music player. And change the volume to the level you want. Once done, just finish setting up the macro. When your Android smartphone is fully charged, you don't get a notification. And that means we always tend to check the battery percentage on our phones to see if it has reached 100%. Thankfully, you can use the macro droid app to make sure you get a notification when your device is fully charged. While there is a macro droid template for this, you can create your own macro. Just create a macro and in the trigger page, tap on battery level and select the increase or decrease option. Next, select the increases to option and up the percentage to 100% and press OK. Then in the actions page, tap on the display notification action. Name the notification full charge or whatever else you want. Set the notification priority and the sound and you're good to go.
whenever your phone's battery reaches 100%, you will get a notification with the sound and other details you have set up. Well, those were some automation profiles that I like, but you can create a lot more. Do note that some of the profiles which use location services or data do take up a lot of battery. Also, some of you might be wondering why I haven't used the Tasker app, considering it's arguably the most powerful automation app on Android. Well, that's because it has a steep learning curve to it, and it's not very user-friendly for first-time users. To sum things up, if you want to automate your Android device, you should use the MacroDroid app. If you want simpler automations, you should use the IFTTT app, and you can use Tasker if you're really ready to dive into it. Well, those were some of the ways through which you can totally automate your Android smartphone. You can play around with these apps to create your very own personalized automation. If you have any doubts, let us know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's all from my side. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.